Hi, this is Dr. Dan Purser, danpursermd.com. Check out my website. You'll have lots of good ideas and have a lot of fun with it. Thank you for watching and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna to talk to you today about what is MTHFR. It's a common question I get. MTHFR is a shortened version of the name of the disease called methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme deficiency disease. It means you have a problem with methylation. It's a genetic illness. And I've written a book about this that was number one for a while on Amazon called The 85% Solution. Check it out if you want more information on it or look at my MTHFR course um, on my website or on the MedQuest website. MTHFR is an inability to properly methylate carbohydrates. What does that mean to you? Well, according to which MTHFR gene error or mutation you carry, and you get them from your parents, then you have an inability to properly methylate carbohydrates and convert it into ATP. It means that you don't have enough of the enzymes to properly methylate carbohydrate to ATP. What does that mean to you? ATP is the coin of our energy realm. As human beings, we can't use carbohydrates directly. We have to convert one carbohydrate to a healthy human, 32 ATP molecules. It's kind of like taking oil out of the ground and converting it to unleaded gasoline so you can run in your engine appropriately and give you enough energy. But in humans, we convert one carbohydrate to 32 ATP molecules in our mitochondria, in the Krebs cycle, citric acid cycle, and all that all works together to form the ATP molecules. In people with MTHFR though, according to which genetic error or combination of errors they have, they can make anywhere from nine to 23 ATP, and they've been doing this their whole life. That's why they're always tired or behind or feel like they're behind. Also, they can't properly methylate certain B vitamins and handle other vitamins on an intracellular basis. That's where they come in with low testosterone, fatigue, well, other hormones that they're not making enough of. A lot of them are hypothyroid. They just can't make enough of these hormones because of these vitamin deficiencies and all that comes with it. So they have these complex enzyme pathways in their mitochondria where they, where they accomplish this task. And these pathways are disrupted or working inefficiently. And they have been their whole life. The vitamins that we've designed and other people have designed are, are made to go into the slots of where they can't properly methylate the vitamins. So this is the outcome kind of vitamin, you fill in the blanks. It's like having a, let me explain it this way. It's like having a brick wall with bricks removed and we're gonna put brick fill-ins all throughout the wall. So the wall stands and provides uh, proper protection. That's the way it kind of works. Anyway, I hope that helps a little. Methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme deficiency disease is really what it is. We call it MTHFR for short for obvious reasons. It's not a swear word. This is Dr. Dan Purser. Thank you very much for watching. God bless and go in good health. For those of you who have medical questions or comments, don't leave them on YouTube. It's not allowed. You can't. I can't answer medical questions there because of HIPAA violations. So subscribe to my one of my emails and contact us through that through my website, danpursermd.com and we'll try and answer it or we'll try and set up a phone call so I can answer it. Thank you very much.